Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion. I'm running late today. Um, it's been a morning. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about focusing on God. And he says, keep returning your focus to me. I am always thinking about you and watching everything that concerns you. However, you are only human and you will lose sight of me at times. I know how hard it is for you to stay focused on me, especially when you're feeling weak or weary. So give yourself grace whenever you realize your mind and heart have wandered from me. And waste no time in returning to me by praising me in thought, word, or song. Even whispering my name reverently, longingly, can be a worship. Let me have all your worries and cares. This may sound easy, but it is not. You are not accustomed to worry thoughts roaming freely in your brain. So you must train yourself to bring all your cares to my presence. Trusting me to help you. Remember that you are never alone in your struggles. I am always aware of you and your circumstances. I can help you because I have all authority in heaven and on earth. As you come into my presence, let me let go of your worries and cares so you can cling to me in childlike trust. And it is easy to lose our focus sometimes on the Lord. But we just need to remember to bring it back around and trust and know that He is always there for us. And I've said this many times throughout the day, every day, especially now. Sometimes I just whisper, Jesus, help me. Because I know that I need His help and I know that I can't handle a situation, you know, by myself. So just remember, let God have your worries. Let go and let God. Today, our scripture comes from 1 Peter 5, 7. Let God have all your worries and cares, for he is always thinking about you and watching everything that concerns you. And then Matthew 28, 18. Jesus came and spoke to the disciples, saying, All authority has been given to me on heaven and on earth. And then Matthew 18, 1 through 4. At that time, the disciple came to Jesus and asked, who was the greatest of the kingdom of heaven? He called a little child and had him stand among them. And he said, I tell you the truth. Unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest of the kingdom of heaven. And we are need to be childlike in our faith, trusting and believing in the Lord. Thank you, my friends, for joining in this morning. I will be back later on with Card Design Thursday. That too is running late. I tried a new thing, and it was an epic fail. <laughs> so i got to go back and redo that. So I will be doing another card for you sometime um, earlier in the afternoon. And then I will see you again tonight for Thursday Night Live um, at 7 o'clock. And I'm going to be putting a pocket letter together because somebody asked me to show them how to do that. All right, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all soon. God bless and love you all. Bye-bye.